Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to see how many native deer mice and non-native house mice we'll catch in the barn with this very old fruit jar style mousetrap. The lid's almost 100 years old and when you attach it to a small mouth jar, it makes a great way to catch mice. There's a bait hook in back holding up a spring-loaded door. The mouse enters right here and when it does, the door closes and you got it. There's two air holes for the mouse to breathe and a nice little base so the jar doesn't roll around. On the front of this trap it says C.W. Coghill, patent pending. The C stands for Charles Coghill, but he never actually received a patent on this mouse trap because it basically copied a previous mouse trap patented in 1912 called the Unique. Several years ago I posted a video where we tested out the Unique in the barn and it worked well for catching mice, but I'm curious how our Coghill copy will do under the same test. To set it we'll unscrew it from the jar. Right here is the bait hook. For bait I'm going to use a chocolate whopper candy. The chocolate's coming off, but that should entice the mice to go in there, pull the trigger, and release the door. To set it, you pull the lid up and hook it in. Now the mice will enter, pull that down, and we got them. I'll put the bait back on, attach it to the jar, and then we're going to test it out with our pet mice. The reason I'm using a Whopper candy is my pet mice have gotten pretty smart about traps, so I'm going to give them something new they might try. Go on in there. Uh-oh, that bait crumbled and fell off. Let's see if it stands on the trigger and closes the door. Well, my pet mouse almost outsmarted me, but it stepped on the trigger, the door closed, and we got it. So it does work. I'm going to put some better bait on there, really attach it to the trigger. Then we're going to go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can catch some wild mice and some native mice. I'll take off the lid. Let her mouse go back in her cage. Good job. And as always, the mice like to poop. Let's go see what happens. I'm out here setting up our mouse trap in the barn, and I decided since our cog hill is a copy of a much earlier mouse trap called the Unique, I'm going to set them both up at the same time. I put Tootsie Rolls on the bait hooks and sunflower seeds inside. We're going to do a competition, see which one's the best, the older original or the copy. So tonight we'll find out if mice like Tootsie Rolls. Well, we have a double, our antique fruit jar mouse traps, armed with Tootsie Rolls for bait, both caught mice last night. In a side-by-side -side comparison, the better mouse trap, in my opinion, is the later version, the Cog Hill. It has a much more sensitive trigger system. The mouse went in there, hit it, the spring door closed, and we got it. Now, the Unique is not as sensitive. Mice went in and out, in and out, but finally this one stepped on the trigger and got caught. But it took a lot longer. Now, if you look at both the mice, there's two different species. I can't let this one go, so we're going to humanely dispatch it. 
But this one, the native deer mouse, we're gonna take out in the wild and set free. So let's go introduce our deer mouse to its new home. Okay, I'll go ahead and unscrew the lid and let our deer mouse go. Now we can't let this guy go, being a non-native invasive species, so I'm gonna humanely dispatch it and we're gonna feed it to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what enjoys a mouse snack. Well, once again, a skunk enjoyed the meal provided by our antique mouse trap. Over the years, there have been many variations on different lids you attach to jars to catch mice. Everything from wire funnels where they go inside and then they can't get out through those spikes, to needles where they get poked if they try to escape. This one's called the Old Tom and it worked well. To one-way doors, there's lots of variations on these where they push those up and it turns the jar into a jail. Here's one called Ketchum. One of my favorites is the Mousy Buffet. It has a door that goes up and down and it screws onto a jar. I've posted over 600 different videos on mouse traps, and I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. And thank you so much to the fans who are sending me fan art. I love seeing the photos. I've been spending a lot of money on different antique mouse traps, and I have a lot of fun making these videos. If you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.